Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Hobo Tango, King of the Noob, and you're watching Steel Division 2. Alright, so let's start this game right away. Here in the blue corner we have Hippocras playing um, uh, Panzer Lair. He's gonna go uh, pretty regular here. He's gonna go trying to take the middle flag as usual with the blue player. Kinnig playing the second Indian head is gonna go very aggressive here with uh, move orders, not even attack. He just wants to fly by right across the map. Uh, he doesn't want to stop for anything, but the Puma might have something to say over here. He's gonna be facing the M8 and uh, the M1 gun. M1 gun will do the trick against the Puma, that's for sure. If he can shoot over there, uh, we are at a range of 1.1k. And uh, yeah, he, technically he could, but for some reason he doesn't. Anyway, M8 dead, M20 moving forward with his machine gun, dead as well. This push is going pretty bad, Pack 40 is taking out the M5A1. Thankfully there's a M1 gun over here shooting at the Puma, but Puma is resisting pretty well. The Falcon Wolf 190G8 is gonna come and say something about the M1 gun. And there you go, he's probably gonna die now. And there you go, dies. But there is a Sherman coming in that's going to rack up the, the reminding of um, everything that is pinned down, basically. Over here, we have Hippocras moving along with a lot of flamers. That's going to do a lot of trouble to the rifles and half-track. But there is an M5A1 coming in as well. Over here in the south, we have nothing happening. Flag captured by Hippocras for moving his flamethrowers. Sherman is still moving out. Shooting at the pack 40, making sure it's uh, it's damaged. Um, Kenig is very successful here in the north, and the Kenig is known to be uh, spammy like that with the, the uh, French division usually. But now he's playing the second Indian head, another very powerful division. And uh, I don't think I've ever seen Kenig play something else than either French or American. But uh, you know, I don't watch his game that often. Um, Alright, so with the half track he's gonna move forward here. This is very very annoying for anyone that's been in this situation. Pack 40 will get suppressed by these guys. Panzer Tree does have a chance to kill everything in there, but the M8 could get a lucky shot. Although he is on the move order, so who knows. Let's go. Oh, and dies anyway. Guys, one thing we're going to do here is we're going to remove the map. Now, let me know in the comment if this is something that you absolutely want to see is the map. I think it takes away. I mean, I don't think you guys need the map to enjoy this game. 16-8 uh, for Koenig already. Um, it's worth noting that Hippocras is on a Vanguard income. This is very, very bad for him. Uh, there's a lot of Panzer Trees, Panzer gonna deal with Panzer Shrek, could deal with these push, but wow, Kinnig is very well established now. No reinforcement coming over here, uh, reinforcement seems to be bugged down here, so Hippocras is also doing a big push. Both players are having big pushes, and they're both successful in their own way. These half-track pushes are not going to last very long, I mean, it's, it's not substantial. It's not gonna hold the front line against anything. Hippocrast is bringing the Panther D. I'm definitely gonna take care of everything that uh, Kenny can bring up over here. But the Panzer trees are just equally as good for all of these stuff there. There you go. Bazooka, but Kenny sees this in time. He's gonna retreat the Sherman, which will leave it open for the Panther D to open up and kill. Penetration. Kills. And there you go. Thanks to the Panzer gonna deal with the Panzer Shrek. Kinnig had to be very careful here. Over here we have Bazooka coming in for the half track, and uh, that's effectively gonna close this uh, back to Hippocras. Yak Panzer 4 already on the road. Not shooting because he doesn't have the 4K, the uh, 2K range. He has 1750 range, 
and uh, so now he's gonna have to to get up and this is a real problem from these Jagdpanzer 4 I mean they are powerful don't get me wrong but they do not match up with their peers because they don't have that 2k range M10 Destroyers doesn't have the APCR anymore, so he's gonna have to be at 1750 as well. Now it is more of an equal fight. If you do not get these guys vetted up, they're gonna be very bad uh, at aiming. Now we can see that their base accuracy is 50% and AP shell is 45%. I mean, it's not... I mean, there's worse, like the ISU 155 and things like that who has 30%, uh, but these are dedicated AT weapons. And uh, I don't know, I think... I think they, they should need 60% 60, 60 at least accuracy, but uh, yeah, that's another thing, that's another hill to die on. Panzer Grenadier, Panzer Shrek die from the M1 gun, and this is a tragedy, of course, whenever you lose a Panzer Shrek unit. There's a bazooka coming in, so Hippocrat should be, yeah, there you go, he's being more careful now. Why go through the uh, enemy control territory when you can just swoop around? Panzer trees are infesting the map, and this is what's great with these guys is they can. Uh, there's a lot of them. They're two star. They're really, really efficient to destroy pushes like uh, M20 half tracks, things like that. Flam flamers going here to quickly recapture that flag. There's a Panzer gun, the Panzer strike coming in here. Hippocast has made a push into this flag, and uh, I think it's going to be a successful one because there's not a lot of things that. Oh, wow. That was tragic. That was tragic. He technically did unload in time. Still died though. I guess it was a millisecond of a difference. Anyway, M4A1 shooting at the Jagdpanzer 4. Jagdpanzer 4 could just stop there and, and, and start killing, but it doesn't look like he's seeing it since he's hiding in the forest and there's no recon around here. Recon is important, guys. Take them. M8 dies from the Panther D, but the Panther D looks like he took a side shot. He's indeed very damaged. And this has to be so annoying for Hippocras, uh, such an expensive weapon. This is why I made a video that says stop taking the Panthers with a really cool intro, by the way, if you want to take a look at it. But uh, oh boy, that is close. <laughs> Yeah, Panthers, um, although they're much better now in this new meta, so this video is very out of date, but it did not target pro players either. So often you will see noobs, newer players take the Panther, thinking they're invincible, and they'll get them in a the position where they get killed. And, uh, oof, penetration here from the M10 destroyers, and so this is why I made that video. But uh, in today's meta, tanks have found their old glory. Not as much, uh, you know, it's, it is not a medium tank uh, meta, but I find that since I came back that uh, the big heavy tanks are very, very useful. And uh, the light ones too, obviously. The light ones always been useful in my book. They're cheap, they're good infantry support. Uh, Ipocras, he doesn't want to bring his stuff here because he knows there's an M1 gun. But this Panzer Grenadier is going to face the Engineer, and uh, this could be a problem. There's a Puma coming in to recon for the Panther. Panther will make short work of the M10 Destroyers if they find themselves. Pack 40 coming in, because uh, obviously the Panzer IV here needs the support. He's getting shot from every angle. Uh, and But now there's a Panther D, there's a Jagdpanzer, there's this one coming in. Hippocast is setting himself up for a lot of... A, a big defensive line here, a strong defensive line, not just a big one, but a very strong one. Kinnig is going to have to pedal pretty hard to get this back. Uh, now he's working out with his uh, M5, he's forgetting them in the forest. He's losing his footing here as well. So this is the problem when you overexpand too fast, especially as a balanced player versus a Maverick one, is you open yourself up for harsh counterattack. And not just harsh, but strong counterattack as well. We see here Jagdpanzer IV, uh, we see Panthers, you know, there's a lot of good stuff that Hippocrats can buy. These are all two-star, by the way, as well. 
and uh, Koenig probably has his best stuff coming in in B phase. Uh, although he did have a couple of M10 destroyers, he's gonna have much more in B. And uh, yeah, so so it's easy to overextend yourself. But you know, he did slow Hippocras a lot on this hill, but now he's starting to get back into it, and it's gonna be very very difficult, as I already said. Um, now Sherman's uh, could do some work around here definitely there, there there's room to advance on the north side there's a bazooka here unfortunately he's gonna get killed by the puma unless yeah no Kenny doesn't look like he's seeing that unfortunately because he could have went and uh... oh there you go but uh, too late too late he's gonna die no he survives all right well there you go back 40 has arrived there is no AA by the way which uh, somewhat diff uh, dangerous with the Panther Panther D opening himself up like that why not put it in a house where it's hidden I don't know but <laughs> it is the way he wants it machine guns gonna go into the house is gonna cause a serious problem to these m5 gun m5 gun does have 2k range with the apcr but as a problem with the american division uh, especially second indian head is uh, they only have three shells of apcr at 2k range and after this it's 1750 with regular ap fucker wolf coming in for the sherman's gonna weaken up weaken him up a little bit and it's gonna put the uh, pack 40 to finish the job Last line of sight. Engineers are coming in. They're gonna get stopped by these uh, support weapon though. Flamers coming in as well over here. M1 guns are gonna be shooting at the MG42, which in turn is shooting at the engineer. Panzer tree destroyed by the hidden M5A1, but there you go, Panzer Grenadier coming in with the bazooka will close the deal here. And this is what's dangerous with Panzer Deer, is they do have a lot of bazookas. Pretty much all of their infantry does. Now it is 18-6 for Hippocras. He's completely turned this around. He's got a very good foot here. Uh, but there you go, we have some of the more powerful stuff, Rhino coming in with 120mm armor, but does only 90mm damage, so he'll still have to get very very close if he wants a chance at killing these guys, uh, he's gonna have to go for the side. Fokker Wolf coming in, to kill the only thing that could pose a threat to these guys. Now there's a Hellcat coming in as well. This could do some damage. 185 penetration and 130 in uh, regular AP. So uh, and very fast too. They're going at 65 kilometers an hour. I think they were nerfed a little bit. I think they used to go faster. I don't know, but they go as fast forward as as fast backward. So this is a very dangerous weapon. But if you don't use it in cover, it will die very easily. And this is one giant mistake here from uh, Koenig. There you go. More Hellcat coming in, in the middle. Wow, this was fast. This is most likely a Hippocrat's victory, but we never know. Kenny could turn this around with the extra income he's gonna get, but um, he's got 10 minutes. That's enough to get him into C5. Five minutes now with six flags to, to, to defend. Uh, but this one will get back into Koenig's position real quick and it's gonna get back to uh, 9 minutes something. There you go, 9 minute 40. Grill coming in, L uh, very all, all bunch up. No weapon is hidden in the house, which I find, uh, I find uh, it's hitching me in the bad way. Uh, if only Koenig had like a sputter around here or something, he would know that. There you go, Panther D is gonna slow the uh, advance from these rifles. Hellcats are gonna shoot from a very long distance at the Puma, I think. Kind of wasting their APCR on the Puma. Uh, it's unfortunate. 
still no AA, but there is a supply coming in to uh, uh, to, to 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 put the the APCR back into these these tanks. When you're playing divisions like that, you absolutely need supplies to keep the APCR coming. Now they're not being used in the cover at all. It is very dangerous way he's using, but I think he's he's a bit desperate. Get the kill, get the kill, nonetheless. Very good uh, after all. Base accuracy of fifty percent too. Wow. I am surprised. They they are one star though, so they I mean they get a little bit more, but still I'm very very surprised of this uh, matchup. Plus it was one on one. The other one didn't even arrive yet. Panzer Tree is going to die now. Very good move from Koenig, it seems. To be reckless like that. I would have probably tried to, uh, I don't know, hide them in the forest. Be more defensive with them. But, you know, this is probably why I would have not been able to recapture this. And Koenig looks like he just might recapture this. 17-7, he's got 7 minutes 50 seconds left to go. As Ipocas recaptures this flag here. I uh, really did. He sh sh somehow should try to uh, really put some mortars in there or something to stop the enemy from using this road. He needs something. Over here, we have an M5 gun. We have some rifle late bazooka marauders with uh, the recon. 18.6, 3 minutes 27 left to go. This Rhino is being used extremely defensively. Now there's a leader coming in for the Jagdpanzer. Oh, there you go. One fight is going to be recaptured hit here. It's going to give him a little bit more time, just about uh, seven, seven minutes maybe. Uh, if, he, if only he could advance a little bit. And uh, be reckless. Now is the time to be reckless. He's uh, fallen back with the M18 to put back some APCR shells in them. Very good decision because there is a Jagdpanzer IV here. Uh, unfortunately, that Jagdpanzer is in the forest, but maybe it's intended. Tiger E coming in over here is going to kill that M5 eventually. Flight captured back. 5 minutes 28 seconds. Seconds. He really needs this, and I wonder if a rifle late is gonna do the trick against the Panzer Grenadier. They are both one star, so maybe uh, the rifle late. They do have a two bar rifles, uh, rounding automatic rifle, and a nine M1 Garand. They should be able at close range. They should be definitely able to to get the uh, Panzer Grenadier. Notice <laughs> there is still no AA. We see one coming in here finally. But this Fokker Wolf has killed a lot of M5 gun. It would be uh, wise to at least have one buffers each round. The buffers are very strong units. They come in at one star. Uh, could be two stars with a leader. Tiger he's gonna... Oh, ouch! Wow, these Hellcats are really, really, in my opinion, lucky. They're really lucky. Uh, they, they they get the kill done with good accuracy. There's two of them. Uh, good lesson to take from this because uh, usually that would be reckless behavior to just have them in the open like that. Especially against targets that are hidden in the forest. Um, and, and, and really, there there's no recon here. Or am I missing it? Well, there is. Uh, yeah, okay. So there's a recon in the church which is uh, very, uh, helping him very much. Um... Maybe put the Hellcat in the houses there, Koenig. Maybe hide them a little bit, do something. But so far it's working really great. So who am I, right? There's a Bofors now, but he's unfortunately in the forest. So he's not going to be able to stop this. And this is going to hurt because they're open top. Falling back, lots of suppression. Did not kill it though. There you go, Bofors start to kill now that the uh, Fokker Wolf is in his range of uh, line of sight. Over here it's going to be a hard push. There, there is a Bazooka though. Uh, but Bazooka versus Flamer, who will shoot first? Bazooka is not even in range. This could be very dangerous for the Flam Panzer. 12-12 now. It is 12-12. Koenig has recaptured this with the rifle, so they did their job very great. Recaptured this with, uh, I don't know, we kind of missed it, but it looks like the Rhino did some play around here. So maybe he went on the side. Bazooka killed the Flamer. 
Wow, it is looking bad for Hippocrats now. Plus, we are at the uh, C, C phase, so income is going to be very hard to maintain for Hippocrats. Is this going to be a win from Kinnig? Now, remember, guys, I don't look at who wins when I cast games like that. Uh, this game was presented to us today in the Steel Division League Discord, and... Um, it was said to be an interesting game, but I didn't know it was going to go back and forth like that. This is a very sweet game to watch. The Hellcat went back again to uh, resupply, to regain moral uh, after this harsh bumping run. There is a Bowforce coming in over here. It's going to be able to do a little bit more uh, damage control. Tiger coming in against the Rhino. This could hurt the Tiger at this range. And there's a Marauder coming in as well, so now this is definitely a disaster waiting to happen. Flags are recaptured, 15-9 now, 3 minutes 27 for, uh, to defeat for Kinnig. Oh, there you go, there's the engagement, but he's going front to front. Now Kinnig did not see the Bazooka, and this is going to be his... Oh god, ouch, side shot as well. Will not shoot a second time. Not in this engagement at least, but survives the day. Rhino's going to be coming closer to it. Over here we have the grill doing some work on... On the town. For some reason there's nothing there. He might have uh, killed it. But I think it's just the flamer giving... Uh... Anyway. He's going to come in with a Pioneer under the cover of the Jagdpanzer, Tiger, and Grill. One Hellcat died over here against the uh, Martyr, or Pack 40 uh, Against the Martyr, alright. Artillery for the first time of the game after 21 minute 39 seconds is finally arriving. Gonna try to destroy that back 40. Everything else has been killed here. Uh, and this is this is what happened though when you don't keep your stuff hidden into the house. And look at this guy. Was shot from the side we can assume. Um, Might have been engaging. There was no Hellcat when, uh, when this guy died I think. But who cares. The important thing is, thing is he's dead. I'm thinking maybe the Hellcat distracted him while the Rhino comes in. Pack 40 is being suppressed. There's a Panzer III Führer here. Jack Panzer did die. 13-11 uh, for Hippocast. 3 minutes 40 seconds to defeat for Koenig. If he doesn't capture back the city. But he is well advanced to do so. M5 gun going to do a lot of damage. Unfor shooting the APCR is a bit of a waste against the Puma. But this is lack of micro from Koenig. Most likely there you go. Kills it. Could have done with the AP. So just be aware guys when you play with these weapons. Try to keep an eye on the uh, lack of APCR. Because you only get 3 shot. And uh, wow. That's all he needed apparently. Now he's going to try again with the AP. Bounces. That's a problem. Fucker Wolf coming in for it. But the buffers does have a good U now. Still not enough. Just about though. Kills the M5 guns. A lot of the demolition groups coming in with their bazooka. We know player CK530 love these guys and uh, destroyed me with them uh, a couple of times. 2 minutes 40 seconds with to defeat for Koenig, but now he's very close to recapturing some grounds around here. It is 13-11, if only, I mean at this point is the time to do the oboe special. Take everything, Q forward. And uh, just attack everything. Because there, there, there's no choice at this point. There's still no AA here. And these guys have been constantly killing these M5. This is a very poor decision on Koenig. Uh, to not bring any AA support. I mean, Christ, he needs it. Okay, let's be honest here. This is not a case of, uh, you know. This is a case of you absolutely need to stop these fucker wolf from destroying all of your AT guns. Uh, they, uh, they're not cheap. They're not cheap. 65 points. My 
like I mean these are expensive 80 guns both of them all right grills gonna take out the uh, recon that's really gonna help him out good choice there he probably didn't even see it but he knows there must be a recon in the church so he started shooting yeah so there, there you go he doesn't see it he just shoots and uh, this is a good thing to do 12 12 now 12 12 has he recaptured this flag no there's no flag here as he recaptures no he <laughs> anyway 13 11 1 minute 26 to defeat for Kinnick but oh my lord look at that this huge opening this is the death of Hippocrats for sure plus he's coming in strong here ouch side damage but we'll kill it in the end this guy shooting is uh, TNT on the pencil tree. Obviously, that's not doing the job. Alright, looks like the uh, other Elcat died from uh, one of these. Did bail out the tiger though just in time. Uh, so now it's gonna have to resupply. But uh, you know, one thing I noticed from these guys, they don't use a lot of supply trucks. They do not use artillery whatsoever. I mean, there is one mortar. Uh, did not do a lot of work. Did damage the pack 40. But notice how these guys play so differently. 1311 for Ipocas, 40 seconds to defeat for Kenny, unless he can do something. I thought for sure this was his death. He's trying, he's trying, but all of the infantry have... Oh, no. Oh, wow. This this is a disaster. Hippocrats might have win had he unloaded this guy in time. But this is going to be hard to take back. These guys are three star. Uh, but there's only one of them. I thought there was two, but that's the leader. So, so three star against two rifle late. Uh, eventually, we'll get pinned down even if he's in the cover. He needs a Fakru for support. These guys are coming into town. Gonna take back some flight. 59. Hippocrats has 14 minutes to go before it's over for him. Whereas Kenig only has like 40 seconds. So Kenig doesn't need to, to do a lot. But his position is very fragile. There's not a lot over here. He really needs to, to hurry up and go. Finally, the uh, Fakru Wolf are being stopped. P47, very powerful plane, is gonna recapture this flag. Oh, that might not be the very powerful one. <laughs> P38 doing a lot of good work here. There you go. We all know this this uh, airplane from the arcade game. Um, from way back. Anyway, maybe some of you guys don't actually know. But uh, yeah, so the Pentagon and Deer coming in here. He's going to have to retreat. No choice about that. Rifle early could make up a defensive hold against the Pentagon idea but not against the half track which is unfortunate rhino will survive today 15 9 14 10 for kenig 26 minute to defeat for hippocras but has he recaptures territory here he's gonna answer call this half track it will automatically lose the flag for uh for uh for kenig over here, he's trying to consolidate this position a little bit. Another Rhino coming in the middle of the road to take care of these half-tracks. There's the M10 destroyers. M5 gun coming in. And there you go. Now, Hippocras is taking some flag back. 14-10 for, Ke uh, for uh, Kenig. 26 minutes to defeat. I mean, this is a long time to hold out for Kenig, But he does have a balanced deck. He does have a balanced income. I didn't personally look at the deck. I know I showed it to you guys earlier in the video, but I didn't take a look at it. So I don't know if uh, Kinnick has much more. He should, though. He should because um, it's a balanced deck with second Indian head. I mean, you've got so many stuff to bring. It would be ludicrous to, to not do that. Uh, Panzer IV will most likely die here. Does get a penetration, though. So that's good for the next Panzer IV in line, I guess. Fakru is going to try to... Um, to do something about that and the thing that is annoying oh wow nice kill the thing that is annoying here is I 
against the kill is um, that while you may be hidden with these tanks from aircraft, uh, they're shooting their machine gun at it. So if you pay, oh, Hippocrat surrenders. Wow, 27 to 32 for Koenig. I think Hippocrat. Well, it's a Vanguard deck. He probably didn't have anything left in his uh, arsenal. Hippocrat is a very, very good player, by the way. Uh, I mean, personally, I've had a lot of difficulty fighting him. Uh, come on. Looks like we can't see the stats for some reason. Ah, uh, whatever. But, uh, yeah, no, he's a good player. He's a good... Both of these guys are really good player. Um, look at the kill. M4A1 did all right. I mean, it is a support weapon more than a tank, so uh, he did very fine there. Bazooka did uh, more or less not much. <coughs> For Rhino, took out the Gorilla, which is always good. Took out Panzer IV, Panzer III. Hellcat, these guys did good. Panther D, Panzer III. Tiger E over here for this guy. M5 gun took out the Jagdpanzer. Mortar! The only mortar of the game, the only artillery piece of the game, kills a panther. <laughs> well, this is why you shouldn't underestimate these weapons. They can be very good. M4 Rhino, Panzer IV, so it's not bad. M10 Destroyer did its job. Tiger, Pack 40, Panzer III. P38 did all right. He killed the Falcon Wolf, so he did his job as well. Over here for uh, Hippocras, Puma did a lot of good work at first. Falcon Wolf, look at that. One, two, three. That's about 200 points or so. 150, 200. Hmm. Well, they, they are expensive though, the Falcon Wolf. Jagdpanzer IV did a lot of good job. Took out the Alcat, so that's good. Panzer trees over here. Panther D. Panther D did not do that great. Panzer Shrek here took out Bazooka Ranger M5 M20 Bazooka Flamers. Wow, this guy did good. Panther D. Yeah, M10 M10 Lcat Lcat. Now, this is what a Panther should be doing. Falker Wolf here again. M5, M5, M5 assist. Dude, that's 180 points. Mm, this is what happens when you don't invest in AA. But, I mean, he did win the game after all. So, maybe he thought, you know, since the player is in Vanguard, he doesn't need to invest that much into AA because he's not going to spam a lot of airplanes. Especially not as a uh, Panzer Division um, that everything you bring is really expensive. All right, guys. Well, let's try to look at the profile one last time. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. Uh, it really helps out the channel. And um, yeah, have a nice day. Goodbye.